Today, I'll be taking the three 3D dinosaur models and giving them a brand new paint job. Dinosaurs have been extinct for 6.5 billion years ago. And don't worry, I looked that up. gone for a long time. I've been doing art since fifth grade. And you know what? As a kid, I loved dinosaurs. Even though at the time I didn't really know what I wanted to do as a kid. I still love dinosaurs. And I found three. And yes, three. Three. Three 3D models on Etsy that I'm going to be painting today. So let's go. So here are the three little dinosaurs that I'll be painting on today. Two baby dinosaurs and one, ah, well, not baby. <laughs> but I'm going to be setting aside the two baby dinosaurs just for right now. And paint on this, well, not baby dinosaur. I think I'll call him Sam. Yeah, Sam. Let's go with that. So after deciding that I'm going to paint on him first, I decided to start painting him. Literally. Without a plan in mind. Now, when I started painting Sam here, I started off with just a white coat paint. And I hated it. I knew immediately that this could take me FOREVER to do, so despite how cold it was outside, by the time I was burning this it wasn't summer yet, I took Sam outside and put on just a couple of layers of pink spray paint on him. A few moments later. This was so much easier than trying to cover him up with, well, uh, many layers of white paint. With the base coat that now done, it was now time to get started with this guy, and I grabbed out the white paint once again and added this onto him. Now, this may be ridiculous right now. I spent a long time trying to put white paint on him, only then to spray paint him with pink, and then now I'm painting him with white paint again? But there's a method to my madness here. Stick with me here. I'm only adding probably one layer of white paint on him, because I really wanted to keep that pink seeping through the white of the paint, and I was going off of this gecko that I found off of the internet. So, yeah, very, very little white paint here. Once I added that one layer of white paint on him, I put a very light pink on him to blend it out onto the body. And I say, I think I did a pretty good job here, don't you say? Did this type of blending on a few parts of the body, he grabbed out a blue and pretty much blended into the head and neck of the dinosaur. I think I blend the blue on the tail just a little bit, but I can't tell. After I blended out the color, I decided to do a wash on top of this guy. Just a little, not too much of a wash. You can't really tell if I did a wash on him, probably because of the camera, but I'm also not that great with washes, with uh, acrylic or whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm trying to get a method uh, a color wash here. But um, the brown really did dull out that white on him. And, and I like it. And I used the butt end of a paintbrush to, to add in the black spot on him. I think it turned out really cute on him. Once finished with the spot, I turned my attention to Sam's tail. And then the brown colors to his tail. And a few other spots on Sam's body. I used the same brown to paint on Sam's spikes. I wish on his back. And after that, I sprayed him down with Mr. Super Clear. And he's all finished. Here's a quick look at him. Let's move on to the next dino we have in the video. I have this little guy here. I don't know the breed of all the dinosaurs, but I think it's a little baby dinosaur and an Allosaurus. I might be wrong on that. But I've got all of these 3D dinosaur models from Kakarasaurus Essie Shop. I'm hoping I'm saying his uh, name right. He also has a YouTube channel as well. I'll link his channel and his store down in the description below if you want to go check him out. But anyways, time to cover this guy with paint. First with white paint. Then quickly turn to the spray painting him because I wasn't going to layer many many layers of white paint on him. So now it's time to cover him with a layer of white blue paint this time around. Here are the lizards that I use as a reference for, for the colors. So I completed covering him up in blue, beside the head of course. I left that for the yellow because I didn't want a green head here. Once I finished that, I, it was time to move on to the head by using yellow paint. This took me forever to do. You thought painting his entire body weight took me so long? No, 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 no. This took me so... <laughs> Pardon me. Where was I? Ah, yes, the nightmare I had to go through for this. Painting the head yellow took me so long that this painting session went on from January to now. 
more or less. Never again should I do something like this, but knowing me, who knows. Finally, after adding so many, many layers of yellow paint on top of this guy's head, it's the time to move on to the stripes. By stripe, I mean only adding two stripes on him, because I was lazy and wanted to be done with this guy. And after finishing up his face, I was done with this guy. I sprayed a layer of Mr. Super Clear on him, and he was finally done. Now, of course, the lizard uh, that I was referring to had the brown spot on him, but I figured that he would look more of a brightly color when he's younger to ward off predators, and when he gets older, he'll go, th he'll get those spots, and his color will mold like a diamond with age. But for right now, he's my bright blue boy, and I love him. Next is our girl here, and it's time to paint her, the same way I did with the other guys. Oh wait, I spray painted her, so never mind. However, I did add just a few layers of gray paint on her to get a general color that I want. So once I finished adding the gray paint onto her body, it was time for, um, well, time to dry brush her. This method I got down. Dry brushing is easy for me. Just wipe off uh, paint off of the brush with a towel or whatever you're using and brush on top of the uh, figure. And after I finish the dry brushing, even though the figure looks a bit bright to me, don't worry, I'll take care of that later. It's time to grab out the red paint this time and paint some circles on her. The color theme is based on the snake boy here. I ran around the body over adding the red circles onto her body, went back with a black paint and painted another set of circles around the circles. If that make any sense to you guys. If it did, good, you get a medal. If it didn't, sorry, I can't help you there. Once the circles were completed, I worked on her face by coloring in the eye. This is the only figure out of all of the other ones that I have that I colored in the eyes and painted her mouth and claws and teeth. I even painted her toe beans pink color because why not? Toe beans for the winds, am I right? And it was also around this time I dried brush a black onto her because I felt like it was a bit too bright to my liking. And after a coat of Mrs. Super Clear, she's finally done. Now it's time to join the rest of the model in its epic final montage. guys are done and I am very really happy with uh, how they turn out. Shh Sam, the babies are sleepy. I need some sleep too. Every day, late at night, not okay, all I want. And I pray, all I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no